Once upon a time, there was a young man named Jack who had always had an interest in solving crime. He was tall and lean, with short, dark hair and a sharp jawline. He worked as a pool boy at a luxurious hotel named the Grand Riviera, located in the heart of the city. The hotel was a grand white building with a Spanish-inspired architecture featuring red-tiled roof and elegant archway entrance. One day, while cleaning the pool, Jack overheard a group of guests discussing a valuable diamond that had been stolen from one of the hotel rooms. Without hesitation, Jack approached them and said, Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I know this hotel inside and out, and I'd be happy to help with any information that may assist in solving this crime. The guests, surprised by Jack's offer, thanked him and informed the hotel manager about his willingness to help. The hotel manager, impressed by Jack's initiative, agreed to let him assist the police in their investigation. As Jack delved deeper into the case, he uncovered a shocking truth. The criminal organization he had been investigating was none other than the CIA. He had stumbled upon a top-secret operation that the agency was running out of the hotel, and they would stop at nothing to keep it under wraps. Despite the danger, Jack refused to back down. He knew that he was close to exposing the truth and bringing the criminals to justice. But little did he know that the CIA had been watching his every move and knew that he was getting too close. One night, as Jack was leaving the hotel, he was ambushed by a group of CIA agents. They overpowered him and threw him into the back of a van, driving off into the night. Jack was taken to a secret location and interrogated by the CIA. They wanted to know what he knew and how much he had uncovered about their operation. But Jack refused to cooperate, determined to protect the truth at all costs. The CIA, growing frustrated with Jack's refusal to talk, decided to take drastic measures. They drugged him, and when he woke up, he found himself on a plane headed to a foreign country. He was told that he would be held there indefinitely, and that if he ever tried to return home, he would be killed. Jack was heartbroken. He had lost everything, his job, his freedom, and his chance at solving the case. But he refused to give up. He knew that the truth was worth fighting for, and he began to plot his escape.